marry and you will regret it. Don't marry, you will also regret it. Marry or don't marry, you will regret it either way. Laugh at the world's foolishness, you will regret it. Weep over it, you will regret that too. Laugh at the world's foolishness or weep over it, you will regret both. Believe a woman, you will regret it. Believe her not, you will also regret it. Hang yourself, you will regret it. Do not hang yourself, and you will regret that too. Hang yourself or don't hang yourself, you'll regret it either way. Whether you hang yourself or do not hang yourself, you will regret both. This, gentlemen, is the essence of all philosophy. The most painful state of being is remembering the future, particularly the one you'll never have. Do it or don't do it, you will regret both. It is not where we breathe, but where we love that we live. It is the duty of the human understanding to understand that there are things which it cannot understand. It is not the path which is the difficulty, rather it is the difficulty which is the path. The more people who believe something, the more apt it is to be wrong. The person who's right often has to stand alone. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. People demand freedom of speech as a compensation for the freedom of thought which they seldom use. Face the facts of being what you are, for that is what changes what you are. The highest and most beautiful things in life are not to be heard about, nor read about, nor seen, but if one will, are to be lived. There are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true. The other is to refuse to believe what is true. The most common form of despair is not being who you are. It is better to try something and fail than to try nothing and succeed. The result may be the same, but you won't be. We always grow more through defeats than victories. The unhappy person is never present to themselves because they always live in the past or the future. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. Take a chance and you may lose. Take not a chance and you have lost already. The function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of the one who prays. People understand me so poorly that they don't even understand my complaint about them not understanding me. What labels me negates me. In addition to my other numerous acquaintances, I have one more intimate confidant. My depression is the most faithful mistress I have known. No wonder, then, that I return the love. What if everything in the world were a misunderstanding? What if laughter were really tears? If I were to wish for anything, I should not wish for wealth and power, but for the passionate sense of the potential, for the eye which every young and ardent sees the possible. Pleasure disappoints, possibility never. And what wine is so sparkling, what so fragrant, what so intoxicating as possibility? 
To dare is to lose one's footing momentarily. Not to dare is to lose oneself. The tyrant dies and his rule is over. The martyr dies and his rule begins. To venture causes anxiety, but not to venture is to lose oneself. And to venture in the highest is precisely to be conscious of one's self. God creates out of nothing. Wonderful, you say? Yes, to be sure. But he does what is still more wonderful. He makes saints out of sinners. To cheat oneself out of love is the most terrible deception. It is an eternal loss for which there is no reparation, either in time or in eternity. If anyone on the verge of action should judge himself according to the outcome, he would never begin. Above all, do not lose your desire to walk. Every day, I walk myself into a state of well-being and walk away from every illness. I have walked myself into my best thoughts, and I know of no thought so burdensome that one cannot walk away from it. But by sitting still, and the more one sits still, the closer one comes to feeling ill. Thus, if one just keeps on walking, everything will be all right. The proud person always wants to do the right thing, the great thing. But because he wants to do it in his own strength, he is fighting not with man, but with God. Many of us pursue pleasure with such breathless haste that we hurry past it. It is so hard to believe because it is so hard to obey. Boredom is the root of all evil, the despairing refusal to be oneself. Don't you know that a midnight hour comes when everyone has to take off his mask? Do you think life always lets itself be trifled with? Do you think you could sneak off a little before midnight to escape this? It is impossible to exist without passion. There is nothing with which every man is so afraid as getting to know how enormously much he is capable of doing and becoming. How absurd men are. They never use the liberties they have. They demand those they do not have. They have freedom of thought they demand freedom of speech. The self-assured believer is a greater sinner in the eyes of God than the troubled disbeliever. Listen to the cry of a woman in labor at the hour of giving birth. Look at the dying man's struggle at his last extremity and then tell me whether something that begins and ends thus could be intended for enjoyment. Leap of faith, yes, but only after reflection. The thing is to understand myself. The thing is to find a truth which is true for me, to find the idea for which I could live and die. That is what I now recognize as the most important thing. Why bother remembering a past that cannot be made into a present? Happiness is the greatest hiding place for despair. My sorrow is my castle. I stick my finger into existence and it smells of nothing. The Bible is very easy to understand, but we Christians are a bunch of scheming swindlers. 
We pretend to be unable to understand it because we know very well that the minute we understand, we are obliged to act accordingly. Love is all. It gives all. And it takes all. Don't forget to love yourself. Purity of heart is to will one thing. What is a poet? An unhappy person who conceals profound anguish in his heart, but whose lips are so formed that he sighs and cries, pass over them, they sound like beautiful music. Which quote did resonate with you the most? Share your opinion in the comments. Don't miss a chance to watch the next video. Subscribe.